Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Mario Fangirl93 and it's time for Retro Arcade Fun. Tonight, I am going to be playing another arcade game called Lock and Chase. I never heard of this game until I watched Retro Arcade Music Man's video where he played it and he played it blind and I played it blind a little bit, but then until I just practice it. And I totally agree with Retro Arcade Music Man, but he said that it was a bit harder than Pac-Man. It's, it's, it's definitely similar to a Pac-Man game since you just have to get all the dots be when you cleared everything. But I definitely gotta say this. I was this close to level 5. And that's how far I go. Well, will I ever pass level 5? We'll see when I get to play the game. So, I'll see you guys there. Alright, Lock and Chase is the game that I'm new to it. However, I'm still familiar with the Pac-Man series, of course, because by the look of the game, it's similar to Pac-Man like that. Just It's just you have to clear up all these dots before the... Um, you know, before you get out of here. Well, actually, before clearing the level. That's how it goes. So, you just basically have to just watch out for these cops. Because if you touch one of them, you'll die. And, as you can see right there, there's some money. But I just do not want to um, use it too much. I would rather not, because, I, because it could give me bad luck. Because some of these gates right here, you really gotta time it perfectly. Sometimes I've done it, like, and then all of a sudden, I just not doing so well right here, but I'm pretty sure I don't suck at it. I know that the later levels is gonna be difficult, so I am going to, um, keep my wits about it and just concentrate. Okay, let me see where I can just go here. Yeah, and the thing is, you want to make sure that the, um, the cops just, you know, you don't, you just got to keep an eye on them and just don't let them trap you somewhere. So you just wanted to find a way to just, just follow them a little bit and just want to make sure that you all chase. Okay, I am so fucking screwed right here. I knew this was gonna happen. But, that's okay. Mistakes happen. But it's not gonna be for long once I cleared it. I'm gonna be fine. Yeah. I do not want any back seating since I know exactly what I'm doing. And as you can see here, I got them. So they are all trapped and I'm out of here. Level 1 is cleared. Now on to level 2. But I know the fact that it's really not too bad for me. But I know for um, Retro Arcade Music Man who's just already got that far from in that one. But for me... I know how to clear this one, so I just wanted to just concentrate. Oh yeah. If you're watching this, Retro, I have a question for you. Have you seen some girls who have the skills, who, who's managed to beat harder difficulties on whatever games they play like, like I do? Well, for example... I managed to beat Ghosts and Goblins, Ninja Gaiden, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, it's just basically the ones for the NES that a lot of people having trouble with it and how difficult these games were. But I managed to beat it, which is really awesome. Especially the fact that I'm pretty much the youngest player out there, so I'm not really sure if I've seen them who are younger than I am, but I'm glad I'm able to handle it. Okay, gotcha. This is going really well here. I'm almost there. I just had to 
don't want to do something stupid like that. Okay, I got this one. Once I get to the top, then everything is just fine. You're not gonna get me. Oh yeah, I'm totally gonna beat this one. And there you go. Level 3. That's... War. Something... The things that I'm not having trouble with, but most of the times I, um... There are times I get screwed up right here if I... Then I lose concentration there, but... Sometimes I play it a little too aggressively like that. It's just most of it that I was just... Not being patient enough, but I really should be patient. Because I just... You know, I... As, I just wanted to clear as much... Dots as you can, because... Yeah, I just need to just take some patience here. That's the key here. Okay. I'm just getting a little too close right here, but I managed to dodge that. And as the levels go up, you're not going to be fast enough to get the money, so I am not going to not gonna bother using that. Just focus on that one. Shit, I really knew this is gonna happen right there. These bastards trapped me. But I'm down to the last life. I'm pretty sure I will make it there and head straight to level 4. Because that's the farthest I can go here. All I gotta do is just grab these two right there and get to the top. Oh. Okay, that was so close. So fucking close. It can be a little bit nerve-wracking, but... I made it. See? I told you I can do this. That's why I just want to make sure, if you want to play video games like this, gotta have some confidence. But, you don't want to get way overconfident, because... It'll make you look like an idiot. So you don't want that to happen. Yeah. So I'm just going to just... Do it clear as much as I can. Because I'm down to the last life. But let's see if I can actually, um... Find a way without getting trapped again. Okay. I think I'm Danny there. I'm almost there. Okay. You're not gonna get me. No, thank you. I don't want to get to... Damn it! I was so close! I was that close to level 5. Alright. So that is it. Oh yeah, I forgot to say this. Retro Arcade Music Man. Thank you for your comment on the shadow that I made for you. I'm glad you like it. Honestly, that was very nice of you to say that. So, I'm still looking forward to some more videos. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is Mari Fangirl 93, signing out.